Hi, everyone. This is Grace. Hope you've been well. Um, so since my last tote haul from the Firefly Collective, I ended up finding out that um, M and Anthony, her husband, carried two or three other designs that I just was like, oh, I forgot to get that. Or, oh, these are new designs. I want this in my collection. Certainly for me to use or for me to use as gift bags to people. So you guys know, um, one of the things that I like to do is when I can, um, and I know that the recipient will use it, is to give these canvas tote bags as gift bags. And I'll put, you know, gifts in these tote bags. And then certainly they can use it, especially in our eco-friendly environment um, or culture, I should say, eco-friendly culture. And yeah, so anyway, this is their card. So here you go. I'm not on Facebook anymore because I just found Facebook to be too intrusive with, you know, um, my information. But yeah, this is theirs. So Instagram you have, and then um, I think, yeah. Now the cool thing that Em and Anthony have started to do is they have started to personalize these totes. So let me share with you, okay? So some of you may have seen this particular design. Let me actually show you. Hold on. So Em sent this to me as a gift last time I placed an order which I loved, and um, she did get on to the um, video and leave a comment explaining how this was engraved, and she did say this was Aslan, and this is a quote from there. So um, imagine my surprise when I went on to the site to actually get an Edna tote. You guys will see it soon, but I saw that she had also converted this into a tote bag, so courage my heart. And um, these days, when you guys see these videos, which are usually on a Friday or a Saturday, I am much more, I guess, relaxed. I've had some time to rest and things like that. But on a day-to-day -day basis from Monday through Thursday, it is literally sometimes I feel like um, a physical and mental battle. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that in which, um, you know, I have classes. It's like, even though the, I purposely separated the classes that I teach, you know, to have a one to two hour gap so that I could rest in between. I don't know what it is about this term, but it's like I turn left and right and there's like another committee meeting or there's another subcommittee meeting or... Uh, so anyway, um, it's been crazy. So when I received this package, it was on a Tuesday. I came home. I had left for work, what, around 10 o'clock or so. I got home around eight o'clock at night, um, just back to back, you know, work, whether it's lecturing, whether it's preparing for lectures or committee meetings and yeah. So, um, this, is a particular tote that I wanted to get for myself to remind myself, courage, dear heart. Um, right now, I am using the Sherlock Holmes tote, um, the one that says the game's afoot. Let me actually show you. Hold on. All right, as you can see, this tote bag is filled with books and papers and such, but um, this is a tote bag that I've been using. The game is afoot. It's chock full of books and papers because I told you, like, Tuesday was insane, so this is actually my book bag from Tuesday's class. And then um, M had also sent this to me, send me to Pemberley and don't let me come back until I change my attitude. I love that splash. And of course the quote is just absolutely adorable. I use this to house my um, expo markers. So um, the setup in my classrooms, we have an LED projector that I use. But then I also like to have my students really take charge of the material and um, on some level empower them to do their own learning. And so I get them into small groups, I give them expo markers, and I ask them on the various dry erase boards that we have around the classroom to um, jot down and record their small group's findings. And then we take turn, you know, going from small group to small group in the larger classroom setting and just talking about what they discovered about particular stories and such. So 
I don't know if that makes sense, my pedagogy. But anyway, so this is the current book bag that I'm using. The game is afoot. But I thought that Aslan take courage. Um, courage, my heart, would be really good. So hold on. All right, so this I had ordered um, to replace the game is afoot um, bag. Courage, dear heart. And I plan on using it Monday through Thursday. And so, yeah. And I love Aslan, and I'm sure some of my students who love the Narnia series will get a kick out of this. Now, this was the one tote bag that I went back for because I couldn't believe I didn't order this the last time I placed the order. So it's a combination of two things that I love in literature. We have Sherlock Holmes um, with his violin, and then um, Shakespeare's quote, If music be the food of love, play on. And this, um, the Sherlock Holmes figure is a little bit like a, there's a purple tinge, which I love. And I thought purple with a dark green would look really nice. And so I requested the dark green. And the great thing I like about these totes is you can personalize the colors. So that's in dark green. And then the Aslan tote, whoops, let me bring it back. I asked for this in maroon because I just thought it would look nice. So... Um, yeah, I think burgundy is a little bit darker, so. Now, this one, this is the one I was thinking I have to get. It's so cute. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. This is Edna from The Incredibles, and I don't know about you guys, but I only watch The Incredibles for Edna. <laughs> I know, she's such a little spunky thing. I love her. So, um, this on the site is in, I believe, maroon or burgundy. I couldn't, I think it's maroon because it's a brighter um, color than the burgundy, but I wanted it to be a little bit more, I guess, chic like Edna. So I opted for the purple option, but then I backed away thinking, ooh, purple might be a little too dark. So then I requested the lavender and this is the color. So it's a cross between purple and gray. And so, yeah, I like it, though. It looks nice. I think if you want something a little bit, a color that pops more, you can certainly do that. Now, be ready, okay? Because I knew that this was one I was not going to give away as a gift. And so I took advantage of their new feature on their website, which is a personalization feature for their tote bags. So... I asked that this be personalized grace. So thank you so much. Um, this looks beautiful. No one can claim it except for me um, or another person named Grace. But, you know, there's only one person at church named Grace. So I thought that this would be such a great um, church tote bag, right? I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. So a really great lesson, actually. Because there are some who get really haunted by the past. And so to, you know, remind certainly my youth kids, um, you know, learn what you can from your past. But don't let that distract you or haunt you from really enjoying the now and the future that you are creating for yourself. So pick that up. And then, whoops, random screw. And then M has this new series of dog totes. So I selected the Pomeranian. I love my Pomeranian. And because Bentley's a little boy, I picked the Royal Blue. This is Royal Blue. And um, I love blue. So did that. But she has a whole series of different breeds. So I think she had one like Golden Retriever. And was it a Shih Tzu? I mean, there were a lot of dogs. I feel like she covered the majority of the dog breeds. But isn't he so cute? And he looks like Bentley. A cartoon version of Bentley. So there's that. And then I had this um, personalized Bentley King. So, And I had written a little note or typed a little note on the order saying this will be a perfect tote uh, for me to use for Bentley when he goes to visit my sister. And M wrote back, well, he has to visit in style. <laughs> So, such a great um, tote bag. Isn't this adorable, you guys, though? So, for those of you who are in the market for something a little bit personalized, certainly, um, 
There are a lot of really great designs that they have added. Certainly the Sherlock Holmes ones. You guys know MASH. They have Disney. They have the Dog series. They have Doctor Who. What else? Oh, they have Walking Dead, Nightmare Before Christmas, a whole slew of things. And so um, these tote bags are really great. They're unbleached canvas. Um, yeah. So, and it's really nice because um, when you order one or several, like I do, they um, send you a little um, card on how to take care of these so that they last a really long time. I have put those cards away for later, um, so I don't have that one to show you now. I think, though, M um, has pretty free pretties that she includes in each order, and I don't know, Em, assuming you're watching this video, whoops, there's my fuzzy jacket. She sent me this, all you need is love and a dog. I love this. I don't think this is the typical free pretties that she gives, but if it is, oh my goodness, this is amazing. But if it's not, then thank you for the extra love because I certainly appreciate it. And this will be perfect for me to carry Bentley's water because anytime Bentley and I go, I like to, you know, carry some water. And um, I'm always looking for water, th you know, carriers. And people in my family keep taking Bentley's water thing. <laughs> Because I use like a little Tupperware thing, so this will be perfect for me to use. So, And then, of course, I can drink out of it, too. So, thank you so much. This is adorable. Now, guys, in the description bar, I'm going to leave the, um, the name of the Etsy shop as well as um, a code. Because M was really nice, and she created a code, and I think it's Gracie21. So if you use that, you get 10% off. Um, once you place an order, she actually gives you a 10% off code anyway. But I think if you use Gracie21, then it's a great way for M to kind of keep track of how many people are actually coming to her shop from this particular, you know, YouTube channel or video and things like that. So um, there's that. And that code, 10% um, off, is good until June of this year. I think she said June 30th of this year. And um, you buy one. I think the totes are right now $13.50. And she's offering free shipping plus the 10% off. So, I mean, I don't I don't know about you guys, but for a nice, you know, tote mm. like this, if I were to get something like this in Barnes & Nobles, it would cost a little bit more. And then um, she has also added the personalization feature, and I think that one you have to pay an additional three fifty. But especially if you're in the market for getting um, a loved one a really nice personalized tote, um, this would be a really great option. And then if you're like me and you end up spending, um, you know, buying enough that it goes over fifty, I think then the discount kicks in a little bit more, and so instead of the ten percent you get the 15%, and I think shipping is free for any purchase, so just wanted to let you know, and you guys know she also does coasters and tumblers. Um, I subscribe to them on Instagram, and it's so cool to watch some of their video clips. Um, there's one in which they engrave this beautiful glass. Um, I know, and it's called the Baker Street Irregular. And I'm really tempted to get it. So I got onto their site and I looked. And I think it's a custom order. So I am so tempted to um, contact M and be like, you know that design that you had on that clip that Anthony was showing? Can I order that too? Even though I don't have the particular custom design. So anyway, yeah, they do custom designs as well. Um, a lot of wood plaques too. Just it's such a fun Etsy shop, you guys. So, um, if you have, you know, a need for a personalized gift or something special, I think that would be a really great place. Um, I'm thinking about actually getting something for my father from there because they do wood engravings and glass etchings and things like that too. So, oh, I'll show you because some of you are new to my channel and have not seen this. Hold on. So this was... One of the gifts that M had sent, and it's this nice, sturdy coaster that I use on my desk. 
So M knows I love Jane Austen. I also love Shakespeare. Um, I used to teach Shakespeare in my English, um, one of my English classes, advanced composition, but um, I don't teach that particular section anymore, and so I just get to enjoy Shakespeare during my free time now then. <laughs> anyway, um, I am rambling, and I have got to go. I know this, this video is going to probably upload on Friday, but I'm actually um, filming on Wednesday morning before I go to school, so I still have some things to do in the morning, but I did want to film this earlier rather than later so that I could put these totes to good use and not have to worry about, oh my gosh, did I film everything, so. Anyway, I hope you guys get a chance to check out the store, have fun, and these, I mean, you guys know from the ones that I've chosen what my likes and, you know, what my preferences run towards, but um, it's really great because you can personalize the colors and, you know, stuff like that. Those of you who have um, followed me for a while, you know that I think this is actually the third or fourth um, tote bag haul that I've um, done. And, you know, I love these. They're great for um, grocery shopping. In the state of California now, or at least where I live now, um, we are not, a lot of the stores don't use plastic bags. So we are encouraged to bring our own bags, and these are great for grocery bags, you know, gift bags, you guys know, and then I teach, so for book bags too. So anyway, I'm going to head on out. So hope you guys have a wonderful weekend by the time this video posts. And yeah, take care, and I'll see you later in my next video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.